This is the Neville Williams Care Home, where the residents spend their days doing the usual activities, watching television, playing bridge, and hanging out with the pigs. That's right, the pigs. Because this is a care home with a difference. Living alongside the residents are guinea pigs, rabbits, chickens, and two very friendly pigs. And it's not as crackers as it may look. Owner Marcus Fellows explains. Introducing animals into the nursing home was all to do about enabling the residents to interact with those animals, get the benefit of the animals being here. And it looks to be working. The residents enjoy nothing more than whiling away a few hours outside with the animals and their carers. Got staff, and we've got staff here that are totally committed, which makes it work. That is not only looking after them, but also um, doing the therapy side, which is pet assisted therapy. So it seems that these pets are not only good company, they're doing the residents the world of good. They're sort of physically moving more. People who are wheelchair bound, they're far more active in their, in their wheelchairs. They're moving their legs because some of them are stroking the pigs with their legs. They're reaching out with their arms, their hands to stroke the pigs. They're trying to feed chickens, they're handling rabbits. There's a far more sort of physical change in the building. Having animals about the place has really made a difference in the lives of not only the residents, but has also changed the job description for some of the staff. The most important thing for us, though, was the interaction. And that interaction could only take place if we could get staff involved with the animals, helping the residents, because many of our residents are just not capable and able to involve themselves directly. And carer turned pig wrangler, Karen Price Hunt, enjoys working with the animals almost as much as the humans. Well, Marcus asked me whether I'd be interested in looking at after the animals. Um, I said yes, and then he suggested pigs. And I thought, well, never looked after pigs before, but we'll give it a go and see what happens, and we did. And it, all the animals seem to have brought so much to the residents. Hmm, wonder just who is the most work to look after. It's certainly not the residents hogging all the attention. Oh, God bless you. But they don't seem to mind. In fact, they can't get enough of their four-legged friends. A lot of the residents want to come into the garden, even when it's raining, but we don't bring them out when it's raining. We take the animals in. So come rain or shine, the residents love having the animals around, and some can't imagine, or rather won't imagine, life without them. If these weren't here, would you stay? No. No. I can't remember. Since the animals really are a big attraction at the home, and not just for the residents. The things I notice is we get a lot more visitors, the residents are out in the gardens more often. It's lovely. It's clear that animals have made a real difference at the home and in the lives of its animal-loving residents. It is wonderful, uh, really enjoyable. It's lovely just to look out of the window and see them running about, actually interact with them, the residents to interact. So it is a pleasure, it's a joy. But they love you, don't they, Chris? And I love them. The big ears. <laughs>